Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Linux Tutions. We are continuing our web series AWS for Developers. In the previous video, we co continue with our chapter Observability. And in the previous video, we understand how we can configure the log shipping to a centralized location from where we can visualize the data uh, or logs data actually. So we in the previous video, we use file beat to collect, uh, collect the log data uh, it could be your system log, it could be your application log. From where we, we can we can apply lots of filter, we can create a dashboard, create visualization, lot of things. In this video, we will cover uh, system matrices. Like uh, in this video, we will see how we can collect uh, the system utilization, network output, uh, the matrix related to the system. So this will help us to understand the system utilization and with this results, we can forecast our hardware and resources so to do this we will be using the metric feed this is our previous uh dashboard in this dashboard we we, we created a lot of data well that is actually uh, related to the uh, network that actually related to the cp utilization memory utilization we can do a lot of things so let's see how we can do that so to do that we have a uh, set of steps already written so what we need to do is we just need to install and uh, download and install the metric bit binaries and in this oh, we already have alka stack set up so this is our alka stack uh, and in this we will be shipping our logs and metrics data through metric bit so the same way the same structure uh, infrastructure we are going to use like we have a separate elastic search log station kibana and the servers client servers you can say so in this we will be sending data from metric directly to the elastic search we will not going to utilize the log stash data pipelines since it's a little bit complex and um, very tedious task to do so kibana comes with a lot of cool dashboards for matri for matrices and gauges and a lot of uh, cool UI that actually provides you a better insight. So uh, instead of using the log stash pipeline, uh, we are using the Elasticsearch. So let's configure. This is our instance, uh, API instance. We are installing our uh, Metribit uh, binaries. Uh, we, are using, we have to use the same Metribit binaries, the same version we have for Elasticsearch. In our case, we are using 7.17.6. So we are using the same metric bit version. So uh, after installing, we have to do a small configuration in our changes. So what we need to do is we need to do metric bit yard. We need to go to the metric bit dot YAML and we just need to update the Elasticsearch IP. So this is something we need to update only. So what we need to do is we need to supply Elasticsearch IP. So what it will does, it will start pushing the matrix data to Elasticsearch directly. If you have username and password or API key for Elasticsearch, you can supply over here. Um, and you can see we already commented out our log stash output. So we don't need anymore. Uh, since this is my development environment, so I'm not much concerned about the certificate and any other stuff like that is actually related to security since it is, it's a development environment. So for production environment, it is highly recommended to use uh, SSL and credentials. So we are not going to use this. Uh, so uh, the processor we are going to use is uh, host metadata, cloud metrics, and Kubernetes. These are the default processor comes uh, with metric bit binaries. Um, so this is it. Uh, since we are already done with the, the configuration, so what we need to do is we need to, we can we need to test the output. So you can see it's kind of successfully connected to Elasticsearch. We just need to start the metric bits services. After doing this, 
we just need to navigate to our Elastic uh, Kibana instance and we need to click on the add in decorations. Uh, now we need to go to it. Yes, we need to click on the create index. So we have to create an index pattern where actually our data is coming. So this is the small steps we need to do for getting the data visualization to. So this is our this is it. Now we need to go to our discover. There are a lot of uh, you can see the data is uh, start flowing. We can create our dashboard. So there are a lot of dashboard uh, by default comes uh, with the uh, Grafana. So in order to create or load the data or the default dashboards, so what we need to do is we need to go to our Matribit instance. Uh, one more thing I forgot. We need to, uh, we can see metric bit modules. Metric bit provides a lot of modules uh, which can be monitored. So you can see there are a lot of modules. Uh, currently, we are using the system module. So if you wanted to use our uh, Apache, Beat, uh, SAF, so you can see a lot of modules available for um, metric beat so you can you can get all the data metrics data for all those modules like you can get the data for uh, elastic search you can get the data for kafka kibana itself linux and there are a lot of modules you can you can get it so if you wanted to enable the module so you can just do uh, module enable and then uh, in our case we can say linux so you can see the module is enabled if you wanted to enable other modules like mongodb or maybe apache so it will be enabled if you wanted to enable the nginx so you can say nginx so there are a lot of modules if you if you list a module list so it will it will tell you the in, enabled modules and it will tell you the disabled modules so you can enable the modules by the um, metric bit module enable command so it's pretty uh, straightforward. Now the next thing we need to update the default dashboard. If you say, if you uh, observe, there there is nothing in the library. So uh, by default, system comes with a lot of tool dashboards. So uh, what we can do is we can easily add those dashboard to your uh, Kibana instance. So for this, uh, it's a very straightforward command. Metric bit setup. Uh, I will be posting the, these all these command to. The description of the video so in this command we just need to supply the kibana uh, make sure your kibana is accessible to this particular instance from your where you are actually running the command so this is my kibana ip so i need to uh, give the ip of the kibana also since the uh, all the dashboards being loaded into the elastic search so i need to supply the ip of the elastic search instance so what it this command will does it will download all the cool dashboards and set up it in and load it into the elastic search and from the kibana you can utilize those uh, dashboards cool dashboards so we will see how we can configure those dashboards once this setup is done we will be able to see uh, lots of you can start seeing that there are a lot of uh, default or pre-created dashboards available here so once this command is done, we will see all the cool dashboards and we will see how we can create our visualization. So let let this complete. OK, the load uh, you can see uh, this. You can see the output dashboards loaded successfully. Now we can go back to our elastic uh, uh, Kibana dashboard and from there we can create visualization. This is one way you can create your own uh, dashboards or if you go back so you can create or utilize the libraries one from there you can say cpu so you will see a lot of cool cpu uh, dashboards cpu metric beats for cpu usage for docker cpu metric beat for cpu usage for system cpu usage for apache so in our case we will be we will be using uh metric beat cpu uses for system module 
this is the this dashboard is coming from apache module since we already enabled the apache module so that is why you are seeing this uh, okay uh, so this is a, our one dashboard so you can see the cpu utilization but what if we have lots of instances so how we can add those to our uh, dashboard so we can create a specific dashboards as well so let's imagine we don't know uh, what cpu utilization is coming from so if we click on the added visualization so we can create a dashboard for a specific uh, instance as well so if you navigate so you will see uh, the query is being grouped by everything so we need to click on the terms from terms or or maybe you can select the filter so you can filter uh, so if you see the green color is for user so in this, if we see uh, the field system.cpu.userpct, so we can filter specifically for our one of our instance, like we will be calling uh, our instance, just show me the results of auth API. So it will only shows the uh, user space CPU utilization for my this server. If I wanted to see or configure the dashboard properly so i need to supply the same uh, field for my all utilization like auth api i'll be con uh, i will be uh, creating uh, and changing the filter for every use case so i'll be giving agent dot post name for my one of instance and that is how you can create a dashboard for your own So let's say uh, I'm creating a dashboard for my auth API server. Um, so uh, I just need to give all the filters according to my requirement. So you can create a different uh, dashboards for different servers. Uh, even you can create a dashboard for multiple servers. Uh, in, in our case, uh, since we have only one instance, so we'll be creating for uh, a one, uh, uh, one dashboard for one server. So you can see uh, this is uh, this dashboard is actually only for auth API server. And this server is came up this time. If we click on the save and return, so we can see uh, the utilization. If we click on the title, we can say auth API server cpu usage that's how we can give the title to our uh, dashboards we can add some more cool uh, dashboard like uh, uh, for the same server i would like to have memory utilization as well so uh, i'll be using the system module it will be start displaying on my dashboard if i click on added visualization i can create multiple so you see, again, I need to give the same query agent .host name uh, for my auth API server. And here in the group by me in, I have to give the same agent .host name, agent name and auth API server, and even in this as well. So, So uh, if we click on the save and return, it will only start showing me the uh, utilization for my one instance. So we can we can say memory usage API server, and even we can clone that as well. If if we wanted to uh, show some more uh memory utilization for other servers as well so we can just click on the clone panel and click on the added visual visualization and what we need to do is we just need to change the filter instead of auth api we can give any server name so uh, let's say web as we do and in the other other as uh, in the other fields i have to give the same name web as we do so it will start displaying the information for my WebSRV2 instead of auth API. So whatever the server 
uh, it will be start listing over here. So yes, that is done. Save and return. We can say this is the clone. 2.9 GB, 2.3 GB. Uh, let me see. This is a uh, memory usage for web server. We can call that as a memory usage for web server. Even we can clone it, uh, clone the same panel, which is actually a CPU utilization. We can clone it. So you can see the currently both have the same. If I click on the added visualization, and what I need to do is just need to update the filter instead of auth API. I just need to supply uh, the web SRV. If you have many servers, all those will be listing work here. So let's verify all those are correct. We just need to verify we are giving the correct values. So we just need to click on the save. So you can see uh, CPU usage for auth API both are different. If you click and we can say uh, web. So that's how you can title uh, the uh, dashboards. So you can see the visualization for if you can add more cool stuff like uh, network you can add uh, network in by network out by it so there are a lot of things you can create um i hope this will help you to learn a lot of stuff about the observability and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thank you for watching this video